Recently, my neighbors cleaned their house and received some old touch, and as well, they offer some toys. At first, I don't know what to do with that, but I've decided to pick up some stuff. The idea of making something like this is transforming some usual boring touch into something more fun. Also, into something that will make our living space better, more comfortable, creative, and more interesting. And for this project, I have one mini computer. This is Latte Panda Model Alpha. Once I have made video about this computer, but this is going to be something different. So before we start, a couple words about this computer. This is a pocket sized computer, and it's my favorite mini computer. The CPU is Core M3, which is a quad core CPU. The RAM is 8GB LPDDR3. The built in storage is 64GB and the onboard GPU is Intel Ultra HD 615. This computer is coming with Windows 10, but also supports almost any other operating system. This model also has a built in Arduino, which can be used for programming or directly as a board computer to some other touch or machine. The storage is expandable through two M2 connections. One is M key and the other is E key. But as well, these connections can be used to connect some other expandable hardware, which we're going to make later in this video. From around are three USB 3.0 connections one 3.5mm audio jack, one HDMI, one LAN cable connection, micro SD card slot, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and USB Type-C, which is for the power adapter. And the build quality is on a very high level, something that very reminds me on some Apple computers. Well, because I don't have any case for this computer, I'm going to use the truck toy that I picked up before. So. I took my screwdriver and I start with disassembling, and later removing the dead electronics from the toy. Some of these electronics can be still used. Personally, mostly I reuse the capacitors and the other parts and the cables. Usually this stuff is cheap, but now I have it for a free. After I finish with separating all parts, I move to cleaning. The plastics, I wash it using warm water and dish soap. This is a usual process when I do some in detail cleaning. After I clean the plastics, I move to planning. So almost as always, the things here did not go good as I imagine. The truck is smaller than its look and I thought, the space isn't really good. But after some time of studying the things, I come to some ideas. First, I need to place the computer in a position good for cooling. That is the most important thing, otherwise I will have an overheating problem. Also, I need a position that I can easily reach the connections, I mean the ports and as well the power button. Well, after I found a good position where to place the mini computer, I moved to making some modifications. Now, I took a thin acrylic. This acrylic, I took it from a broken laptop display. And I already have used one part in my previous video about Xbox 360. But now I will use it again to make some platform where we are going to place the mini computer. So first I mark where do I need to cut. And later I stick a paper tape. The paper tape will make marks more visible and it will reinforce the acrylic. So while cutting, the chance for breaking down the acrylic is going to be minimal. Now the platform is almost done. But I have to drill small holes in the corners and now to place the screws and the small fits. Using a Dremel, I cut the bottom side 
where the batteries were before. With this, I will load down the whole computer for a few millimeters and now to make the upper cabin fit. But also from here, more fresh air will enter to the inside. Before I stick the acrylic, I cross over one more measurement and checking process. Well, the next step is, I have to cut the back side of the cabin, and now for the cables, but also I have to make a space in the front side, because of better cooling. After the glue gets dry, it's time to move to painting. And first I took a deep black spray. And with this spray, I paint the bottom part, the back top part and the inside of the cabin. Now, before I paint the cabin from the outside, I cross over a taping process, because to protect the inside of the cabin that I painted before. After I finish with taping, I took a fire red spray. And with this spray, I paint the entire cabin from the outside. The fire red spray is a very specific color and it looks pretty good, but still some details are missing. So I took some acrylic markers that I use for painting and I start with creating some small details. And as final paint, I used silver spray. The silver spray I have used to repaint all the parts that have metal look. Well, and now after we got everything ready, I moved to the assembling. Before I place the cabin, I'm going to add some additional stuff. I'm going to place USB hub together with a card reader. The second thing is additional 256GB M2 SSD. Also here I can go with something bigger, but this one left from some other upgrade that I made before. And the last thing is EXP GDC. This device will give ability to connect a desktop GPU to this computer. And here the connection will go over NGFF cable or to the EKEY M2 slot. So one slot is going to be for the SSD and one for the GPU. But in this case, the SSD and the cable are too short to use screws to fix it on the motherboard. And to fix this, I use the zip ties to fix the boat. I know, the zip tie is looking like a bad solution and it doesn't look pretty good. But if I go with some custom made holder or anything similar, I will make the cooling worse. The zip tie is very thin, it's made from plastic and it won't affect anything on this computer. And as GPU, I will use NVIDIA 1050 with 2GB of video memory. However, in this case I can go with something better and more powerful. 
but I choose 1050 because it's a small and it has a low power consumption. Also, the EXPGDC is powered by additional Dell charger. In this case, there are more possible combinations to connect GPU to this computer, but for now, this is all that I have. And after I have done all these modifications, this is the final look. So what I wanna hang with my friends, so what I wanna go out again, so what I wanna write you a song, it's not my fault that you can't sing alone, I try to keep it cool and be ways, I try to stay away from mistakes, I'm making my way and I'm good on my own, skipping the show cause it's all that After I finish with assembling, I connect all the cables and I move to testing. At first I think that I may have some temperatures problems, but no problem at all. Everything is working just normally, and the temperatures are very normal and fine. The design of the project doesn't come as I planned before, and I must say I'm not too satisfied with that. But on the other side, the performance are very surprising. I try to play GTA 5. I used normal to high settings, maximum display resolution and 144Hz. And under these settings, the frame rate is above 30 and very often goes over 50 or 60, which is less what I expected. The other game that I play is Dying Light. In this game, I used medium to high settings, I mean very similar to the GTA 5 that I used before. And under the settings, the frame rate is about or above 40, which is very surprising. And looking from this perspective, this computer is good to play some older and mid-range games. And because this computer has a built-in Bluetooth 4.2, I can connect and use Xbox One controller to play some other games. Well, and this is all about this project. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video will give some ideas and inspiration to make something better and unusual. Also, if you want to support my channel and my work, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I wanna hang with my friends. Just wanna be, just wanna be myself. So what I wanna hang with my friends. So what I wanna go out again. So what I wanna write you a song. It's not my fault that you can't sing.